Shalom, shalom. This is your brother YC Obey, and we are Sham Stoppers, baby. Sham Stoppers. Oh, we reserve our United States constitutional rights, freedom of speech. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to give you what you was waiting for. It's the application. We're going to show you how it's her fault, not the judge's fault. It's your baby mother's fault. And this goes out to all the people who protecting the baby mama. The real initiative. The real recipient. The real cause to this motherfucking shit. The problem. This is the problem. Okay. Because we seen a lot of guys trying to go after the agency. And they don't have enough money to go after the agency. That's just the retardedest shit I ever heard in my life. You're not gonna get an agency. You're not gonna get the agency shut down, motherfuckers. You're not gonna do it. You're not. You're not. You know why? Cause reality says so. That's why. Because you have people in this world that are lazy, and who want a handout. Your baby mama, and she wants to be in control, so she uses this tool as you to be the slave. For you to be her slave, okay? And there's a lot of you out here, okay? Super simps. There's a lot of you super simps out here, okay? A lot of you super simps. This is the guys that's protecting the agency right here. That S on their chest, super simp. Think about it. This nigga got on tights and shit. You know what I mean? How can his dick and his balls breathe? I can't wear I can't wear tight shit. I gotta breathe. I have to breathe. Okay. Real talk. My boys gotta breathe. My boys have to breathe. Okay. Super simps. I ain't got this on my avatar as a simp. You know what I mean? Super simps. Always saving these hoes. Ain't talk bad about their baby. If these niggas ain't talking bad about their baby mamas, for one, they fucking them. You know what I mean? Their baby mamas got them on a the leash. They scared of these hoes. You know? Fuck that. Hell no. Nah. Are y'all ready? Huh? Let's go. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. And this is this is a Kentucky one. Oh, y'all about to love this shit. Oh, your baby mama is the motherfucking... It's her fault. It ain't the judge's fault. This is what they judge upon, this application right here. See? Application for child support services. Not child support enforcement services. Child support services. So, so the agency provide these services and somebody got to go apply for these services. It's just like you go apply for services to get your hair cut. You apply for services to get your telephone cut on. You apply for services to get your water bill. All that. It has to be someone to go do the shit. Your bitch ass baby mama. Not the agency. Now look at that. And look, they're telling you right there. For office use only. Title 4D number. Date requested. Now, who the fuck requested this? Check this space if you are the custodial parent. Custodial parent includes the physical custodian. Now, I'm going to hit y'all with something. Y'all ready for some esoteric type teaching? Look at this. Apple. Plus. Put an E right there. That's the apple. This thing right here is an apple. Okay, this is an apple. So you got us, the men, on the right side, because we stand for that. You got women on the left. So the application is in the middle, all right? Who always grabs the shit? The woman. So she's going to grab this application as an apple, okay? So this is her apple, right? And you are now her slave with the judge rules upon. This is how child support gets started. This is the first step. The only step. 
either you go hit her first or she go hit your ass up okay real talk look at that you see this shit look full child support services will be provided to you unless you check one of the two spaces shown below see that I wish to receive only location services location only case state parent locate located section I wish to receive location services parent parental kidnapping case so fellas think about this how the fuck you gonna kidnap your own child why they don't say child napping why I got kidnapping Your baby mama fills this out to bring these people inside of your life. She put these people in your life. She put these people in your life to get your wealth. So she can get the money to somebody, to some mo dick or somebody else in her family. She uses this to go through your pants at nighttime or when you leave at work. You know what I mean? Because a lot of you, you just leave personal shit behind. You know, you be slipping and shit. And this is how she get you. You just got caught slipping. Now look at this. Hold on, wait a minute. Here we go. For all you numb nuts who can't read and comprehend. For all you dummies. Listen up, dummies. This is your time to go in the mirror and confess. And say, hey man, I was a dummy. It was this bitch fault. It's not the judge. Nor that agency's fault. It's the bitch, the bitch, the bitch. Okay? Look, non custodial parents, information. That's you. Fellas, that's 90% of men in America. It says, first name, she puts your shit right here. Whatever she got on that card, right here. And if you're, if you're, uh, what we call, See, I'm from the country. We call a wallet a bill folder. And you know why we call a wallet a bill folder? Because you put your bills in there and it folds them motherfuckers. So that's why we call it a bill folder. Because you have to put them dollar bills in there. Hundred dollar bills, all that. Social security number. Here's the big one right here. Right here. Where did she get your social from? So... Let me hit you with some more shit and put your thinking caps on. Alright? What happens when you apply for a credit card? Huh? What happens when you apply for a credit card? Huh? It has co-applicant. Now, why they got co-applicant on here to sign up who will be help you pay for this? Oh, it's going to get better and better and better as I go down this motherfucking sheet. Look at this shit. This the kicker though, that, that right there. Look, your mama's maiden name. So they can mail that shit to your mama's house. Wow. You see that? Fellas, your baby mama is not your friend. She don't love you. If a woman love you, she wouldn't do this to you. My mama didn't put my dad on child support. She didn't go down there and do that. For one, she knew better. You know what I mean? Because he was in his right mind. And she was in her right mind. She knew better. She knew who to play with. See, these bitches ain't going to play with no alpha male because the alpha male go upside their fucking head and their teeth will be coming out their duty hole. You know, and y'all ain't threatening these hoes. You know what I mean? Yeah, threats. Because they make threats all fucking day long. Look at this shit. Current residential address. She got all that. Your email, your nickname, alias. Hold on. Nickname, alias. Look at all that shit, man. This is the application to sign you up for the trouble you going through right now is the bitch, the bitch, the bitch. The judge ain't come to your house. The agency ain't come to your house after they got this fucking contract. This is a contract. This is a document. Okay? 
So your baby mama agreed with these people to come get your ass. Alright, look at all this shit. Look at it. This is all your shit. All your information. Where you born, all that. And you and the reason why most of you are on child support because you got too comfortable with these hoes. Look. What is the legal relationship status of the non-custodial parent to the children? Legal father, alleged father. She, she putting all your shit down. And I'm going to tell you something. Did you give her power of attorney over you? Did you give her permission to speak on your behalf? Huh? Is she your authorized representative? Huh? Think about that. Look at that. Talking about the woman, God, the woman, God, my ass. Look at that. See that? Look at all this. Your, your employer. Hold on. I apologize. Your employer. Look at that shit. Let me zoom in some more. Let's see. Look at that shit, man. Employer. Previous employer. Look at all this. Arrest prison record. Look at that. Have y'all been married? And you married people. Look at that shit. Separated. Never married. Married. Divorce. Look at that. Name of non-custodial parents current spouse. So they let motherfuckers have babies out of wedlock and shit. Oh yeah, I know some hoes gonna be mad. You ain't getting no free ride over here no more. Ho. Nobody rides for free. Yeah. Yeah. As cash of gas. Nobody rides for free. Hey. What y'all need to do is thank uh, G. Alice for giving the, um, this real, real, real child support application. That's what we're going to call it over here, the apple. The application. You know what I mean? Because the bitch, both, she bit the apple. Right? We already living in the garden of Eden, which is earth. Look at that shit. Is the non-custodial parent currently receiving benefits? How would she know? Huh? How would she know? SSI, Veterans Assistance. When they get that Social Security number and you get these services, that's when they place that lien on your ass. Tanner, food stamps. Yeah, fellas. See, what we do over here is simple than a motherfucker. We don't do all that extra shit. You know what I mean? We go down where the shit started. We go from the beginning. And then that's when you tell us your story. You know what I mean? Because you just raising allegations about the agency is fraud this and fraud that and we ain't seen shit happen when you just call them a fraud you know what I mean and you do all you said about oh god Superman selling what what's Superman selling y'all Superman over there selling y'all thousands and thousands of sheets of paper and they just laughing at your dumb asses because I'm gonna tell you something if I were a judge, if I were a paralegal, you think I'm going to read all that bullshit? 
with them old ass ancient cases ain't got shit to do with you? Man, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I haven't seen not one motherfucker where it said, I never seen one motherfucker, you know what I mean? And motherfuckers is uh, plagiarizing shit right now, you know, making uh, fake dismissal shit, you know. I ain't seen a pink slip yet. I haven't seen one not yet. You know what I mean? And watch a motherfucker go make that shit up. That's how you know. They're not going to go after the baby mama. They love that hoe. This bitch invested in $25 deposit to bring hell to your life. For a loan. This is a loan, Apple. This really is a loan. Okay? That's her information. She probably ain't going to put the truth on there. She's going she gonna to play the victim. Right? She plays the victim. Hashtag, she plays the victim. You know what I mean? Look at that. Background information. Answer whether you are the punitive father, non-custodial parent, or custodial parent. Why is the non-custodial parent absent? Desertion. Divorce. Separation. Parents ain't married. That, that ain't got shit to do with you not taking care of your child. That ain't got shit to do with it. That damn show ain't got shit to do with it. And this, this is what child support is for. Desertion, which you ain't heard from the nigga or nothing. This is child support right here. These three? Nah. Uh-uh. No. But you know what? These hoes use this application. You know what I mean? They use it to their advantage. And y'all letting them do it. That's what's so cold about it. And then y'all go blame somebody else who ain't got shit. Ain't, the agency ain't sleeping in the bed with y'all. The lawyers ain't sleeping in the bed with y'all. It was just you and that bitch. And somebody became a snitch. You and the bitch, somebody became the snitch. Wow, that's awesome, isn't it? Oh, I know it hurts, fellas. It's all good. You got to live it and you got to learn. That's what you're just learning over here is for. You mean? Learning is fundamental. It's fun for your mental. Look at that. Court order information. Look at all this shit. And they use this shit over and over to apply for more services. These bitches is lazy. Now, here come my favorite part. Oh, are y'all ready? Y'all ready to get down this? I got like two minutes left. Two minutes. But I'm going to do, I'm going to stay three minutes on this motherfucker though. Check it out. I certify under penalty of law that the information I have provided is true. She provides the information. It's true to the best of my knowledge and belief in that the services I have requested are for the sole purpose of establishing paternity if needed, obtaining and enforcing a support obligation or requesting a modification review according to the Kentucky Child Support Guidelines. Why I don't say law right there like these bitches out here talking about it's a child support law. You breaking the law. It say guidelines, you dumb, illiterate fucktards. Niggas need to hit you chill side the head with a fucking dictionary. I understand that child support services will be provided based on the best interest of the children listed on the application. And it says interest. Right? Interest. Interest. That's the financial term. Interest. I agree to inform the area child support office or Title IV D contracting contract. This is a contract office 
to which I am providing this application of any changes in information submitted on this application. I also understand, as explained to me, the authorization and acknowledgement of no legal representation. You see that? They're not talking about they're not representing them, right? Let's keep going. Which I have signed a Title IV D contracting officials employed by the cabinet. Contracting. Your baby mama contracted with these people. She put a contract on your head. Look at this. You see that? And the family services represent the state and not me. And the decline turning relationship, we're going to leave it right there. Not me. And then they're going to take that shit out. Right? Not me. Look at that shit. She, look. She signed that shit. Look at all that shit too. Rights. You see that shit? See that? Right here in your face. Hey, hit us up, subscribe, share, and like. Peace.